You may have heard that fishless aquarium cycling takes anywhere from six weeks to three months, but some legends say there's a magical instant cycle method that takes one day. Before you try it, keep watching to see what my experiments reveals. Hi, my name is Irene with Girl Talks Fish, here with practical tips on nano fish and plant aquariums. And if you missed parts one and two of my aquarium cycling videos, I basically covered what is aquarium cycling and how my attempts at fishless cycling with ammonia versus aquarium plants went. In this last video, let's finally try using a cycled or established fish tank filter and moving it over to a freshly bleached 10 gallon tub that has no other beneficial bacteria in it. Same parameters, 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 8.0 pH. In method number five, our instant cycle method, it's basically like as if I had taken the fish and the filter from this aquarium and moved it to another tank, but I didn't move over any of the substrate, plants, or decor that was in it. To really test out this method, I added two balloon mollies and I fed them normally from the start. And if you know anything about mollies, they are bottomless pits. They were definitely pooping a lot. I had zero ppm for everything, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate in the first few days. And then by day seven, they had finally produced enough waste to get my first sign of nitrate, which was so exciting. Remember, I wasn't adding any easy green at all. This is purely nitrate that is produced from the cycle from the beneficial bacteria. The result is method number five basically cycled within one week, if not even sooner. The only caveat I would give is I only added two mollies in a 10 gallon tank. I definitely wasn't giving it a heavy bio load right from the start. Since the instant cycle worked so well, I decided to sneak in one more experiment. What happens if you used an established fish tank filter with fishless cycling using ammonia. Can this filter process two ppm of ammonia in one day like Dr. Tim says it should be? So I removed the mollies, I added two ppm of ammonia, and the results are it took actually one week for the ammonia to drop from two ppm to zero, the nitrite stayed at zero the whole time, and then the nitrate grew to 20 ppm. This is really interesting to me because the sponge filter I had used was very established. It had been running in a high bio load tank for over a year. It was capable of handling tons of aquarium shrimp, lots and lots of baby fish with zero drop in water quality. And the fact that it couldn't handle this two ppm ammonia standard makes me think that maybe two ppm ammonia processed in one day is way too high of a standard and you would never need that amount of beneficial bacteria for your typical aquarium unless you were maybe doing an african cichlid tank so i would take that fishless cycling method with ammonia with a little bit of a grain of salt because i think the standard is way too high Final conclusions for my one-year experiments are the best method by far is using an established filter or cycled filter media. It gives you that instant cycle. The only con is you have to have access to cycled filter media. So if you're a brand new fish keeper and you, this is your first fish tank, you don't have any other friends that are in the hobby and you don't have any fish stores or pet stores around you that you trust to give you an undiseased filter, this might not work for you. This is the exact method I used to keep my quarantine tank cycled. I basically put two filters in this aquarium over here. Whenever I need to set up a hospital tank, I grab one out of it, use that one. Afterwards, I can bleach it, disinfect it if I need to, and then put it back in to grow more beneficial bacteria. The second method I would recommend would be fishless cycling with live aquarium plants. The pros are that you get to watch pretty plants grow. You can focus on the first month of balancing the lighting and the nutrients, decorating with the hardscape and repositioning them. The cons are you do need to buy a lot of plants up front for this to work. And then you have to wait four to five weeks after you see the first growth in the plants before you can add any fish. Now, if you have an emergency situation where you have to do fish and cycling for some reason, here are some tips and tricks to follow. Obviously, try to get your hands on established filter or filter media if at all possible. Try to get a lot of plants, especially floating ones or stem plants that you can float at the surface because those are really fast growing and will consume a lot of the nitrogen waste compounds. Get a bottle of live nitrifying bacteria like Fritz Zyme 7 I mentioned before and dose the maximum amount allowed. Feed very, very lightly if possible. And then you're gonna need to test your water very frequently and do a lot of water changes as needed. 
Yes, there are several changes I could have made to improve those experiments, but at this point, I am sick of cycling experiments, and I hope I never have to do them ever again. If you missed my previous episodes of cycling experiments, I've got the whole playlist for you over here. Take time to enjoy your crams and make sure you have a friend who can give you established filter media. Bye.